Thank you for joining us on Finding God in the World of Video Games. We're playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. This is our to play or not to play feature. I already ate it. <laughs> I this would be hard to do while uh, talking about it. So this is the remaster of the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. I, I will say that I put a lot of time into this when it originally came out, so it does feel very familiar to me, but you did not, correct? No, I've never played this game. I watched family members play it growing up, but I never picked up the controller myself on this game, never really was interested in it. So this not, is the first time for me. Not big in the skater culture? Not so much, no. <laughs> no. It was a different time. Yeah. You didn't, yeah. You didn't listen to Nirvana either, did you? Um, no. You don't know what you're missing. No. So, here's here's my takeaways from remembering very vividly the originals and... Oh, I just got hit by a car. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> well, but you know, I did exactly what a normal person would do. Got straight up and kept on skating. That's cool. So, what I like about this so far is that this reminds me a lot of exactly why I liked Tony Hawk in the first place. It's, it's pretty easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master. And one of the best aspects of this is it's exactly what you recall. The, the maps have been somewhat remastered. They, they definitely look better than the original. The character models are really strong. And if you really enjoyed playing this, you're, you're going to enjoy this trip down memory lane. I don't know if this is going to bring people who were not previously fans of Tony Hawk into... I mean, is it... Is it better for you? Do you, do you? Does it feel like a current gen game to you? No. I, I feel like there was a time where skateboarding was a big thing. I feel like that's kind of gone down a little bit. It's not as big as it used to be. Um, I've This is, like I said, one of my first times playing this game, and I'm not really all that into it. I feel like I'm just kind of pressing random buttons and dying. Well, not dying, but, you know, falling. <laughs> Well, it is a T-rated game, so it. I don't think you're going to die. <laughs> well, and I think a component of this is games have definitely evolved a lot since Tony Hawk came out. Now, here's one thing you have to consider. This game came out at a budget price, so it is not trying to pretend to be the next you know, $60 game in your collection. It knows oh my God, what it is. Oh, hit by a car. That'll, that'll happen if you skate in the street. Oh, my gosh, I just got up and got hit by another car. <laughs> what was that? Well, they don't fair. appreciate the trash you're talking about in the game, and <laughs> the game is penalizing fair. you. That's not even fair, man. That was ridiculous. I wish you could have seen that. <laughs> I was busy falling apart on my own here. Not sure what I just did. This game is confusing for me because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just kind of... Yeah, see, she doesn't even know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of pressing buttons and just hoping for... Well, I will to get say, up my the game has, has a really good tutorial mode. You, you do have the opportunity to learn how to do each and every trick. I did not play the tutorial, well, like that, some people did in this house. Well, so that, that also why would not have been terribly compelling is, uh, to, 40, uh, to watch on a video. Almost 43,000 and mine is 4,200. <laughs> well, and then I ate it. Possibly. Yeah, baby. How are you getting these high scores? I don't even know what you're doing. Not getting hit by cars is a big component of my strategy. Oh, I keep getting ollies, I, and I don't even... Yeah, that just means you're jumping, babe. Oh, that's... So here's what I would <laughs> I would say as, as we're kind of playing through this. Your mileage is going to vary based on how much you either A, recall the originals, or B, want to take a, a trip down a memory lane of a forgotten era in gaming. But I don't know if personally I can view this as the next coming of skateboarding as a franchise that people are going to all of a sudden say, I want this back. We, we saw titles like Skate kind of replace this and become a much more realistic version of skateboarding. So I'm going to say for my position, it's, it's a $40 game. I really did appreciate the originals and enjoy that this is a oh very my gosh, faithful... Oh I got hit by a car after I fell! These dang cars! This is a very faithful <gasps> recreation of what I remember with very positive feelings. I like that it's, it's a nice And I got hit by a car again after I fell. 
I think we could just put that on a sound clip and I think everyone knows that's what's coming next for you. <laughs> so I'm going to say it is definitely to play if you're someone like me that recalls the greatness of Tony Hawk Japan. and says, you know what, this is kind of fun to collect. But I will say that once you get past the what? initial experience, it can be a little bit shallow. It's, it's exactly what you think it is. Go around, collect things on each map, and then eventually, once, once you're done with it, you move on to the next one. And honestly, I had a lot of the stuff unlocked. Probably, I would say, within maybe two or three play sessions. So I'm gonna say to play, but with the caveat that I am a little bit skewed because I have fond recollections of this game. All right, what about you? Well, for me, it, it's, it's a not to play, but I also just picked up the controller. Like, I didn't get to learn any of the controls or anything like that, like somebody else did. So it's really difficult for me to play. And um, from, you know, my previous stuff, I like easy. And I keep falling and I missed an ollie somehow. And this is just frustrating for me because I keep failing. And I don't like failing at games. So if you practice it, would you recommend it then? Because that's kind of the point no. of this is it's a play or not to well, play for people to decide whether they should give it a try. No. No, because I feel like I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. I'm just trying to get a high score. I don't really care about collecting things. And I, I just, this is not something that interests me. I think it's really boring. I'm, it's... it's All right, so you're going to go with a uh, not to play. I'm going to go with a, uh, we're, we're going to have a split decision here. I'm going to go with play, but your mileage is going to vary whether or not you just want to go around if you like collecting things and accomplishing the challenging task and bragging about that, or just remembering what this game used to be, it's great. If you're just trying to pick up and play something, there is going to be a little bit of a learning curve there. Even though it's an arcadey skateboarding game, there's still a lot to learn. And as you can see with my wife, um, she doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is not something that I would try to pick up and try and play. Oh, oh, and I ate it and I could have gotten 4,000 points, probably, but I didn't because I somehow fell. Probably the I right don't. place to, to end right there. That's, that's kind of your run in microcosm right there. So thank you guys for joining us on the Play or Not to Play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. We'll see you next time.